Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Linux Academy. So guys, we all know the Michael Faraday and it's the contribution in the electrochemistry and the electromagnetism. Well guys, on a fine day in 1836, he was working on some experiment like like he observed that the some kind of the uh, conductors like when we heavily charge those particular conductors like the exterior part of that particular conductor gets charged gets electrically charged but the interior part of that particular conductor like there was no electric charge present at all so why this happens so to demonstrate this particular experiment he just built a room and he coated that particular room with a metal foil and then he uh, used an electrostatic generator throw the electrical discharge on that particular room and he found out that there was no electrical charge present inside the room the exterior part where gets covered with the electrical charge but inside that particular room there was no electrical charge present and he measured that the inside portion of that particular room with the help of an electroscope well this is the instrument which is used to measure the electrical charge present inside the body where there was the no electrical charge present at all and this is where the idea of faraday cage is born so guys our today's video's topic is the faraday cage and how does this faraday cage works what is the basic principle behind the working of the faraday cage it's uh, some of the applications we are going to cover in our today's video so guys if you are new over here on my educational channel Genius academy kindly subscribe it because ultimately your subscription really motivates me to make more of such educational videos and guys please press the uh, bell icon over there so you will get notified on my uh, uploads basically so without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the faraday cage its construction and working so guys when we enter in an elevator like while talking on a cell phone we uh, we notice that the, our cell phone signals get disturbed when we enter in the elevator well this particular elevator is nothing but the fully metallic construction it will be having the like all the metals that's covering on all the sides from top to bottom and we are there in an enclosed metallic enclosure this particular metallic frames are a good conductor of the electricity and this acts as a faraday cages in that particular scenario and due to the effect of this faraday cages we are not able to receive the cell phone signals we we just not able to communicate properly on our cell phones over here the elevator stimulates as a faraday cage the basic principle of the faraday cage and this elevator is the same well now how does this faraday cages works well guys this particular faraday cage is nothing but the enclosure to block the electromagnetic waves or its enclosure to block the electricity or else it is an enclosure to block the RF signals, radio frequency signals. So basically it is an enclosure. Okay. So now this particular enclosure uh, like constructed by using the metallic frames. Over here you can see that this is nothing but the Faraday cage. The, the outer construction as you can see this is this is made up of the conducting material which will be having the small small meshings on that so when we apply the electrical voltage on that particular container the inside the uh, the material which is there inside of that particular container gets unharmed the electrical charge gets affected on the exterior side only the interior side there was no electric charge present so this is the reason you must have seen the, all the pump houses gets covered with the enclosures like the small small meshings are there in the uh, power plant like all the transformers are got covered with this uh, shielding of the metallic frames. So just as in case of the EMPs like uh, the operation won't get disturbed in case of an EMP attack. So okay now we have got like this particular mechanic container like uh, there was no electrical charge can go inside of that particular metallic conductor but how so when the electrical discharge or as the electrical charge hit the conducting wall of that particular metallic container like the metallic container consists of the some sort of the electrons which are there randomly positioned so when this electrical charge gets hit to that particular walls 
the internal electrons gets moved in such a way that the direction of that electrical charge in that particular direction the negative electrons are came across to the front side and it will nullify the effect of emp it will nullify the effect of electrical charge and on the other side of that particular conductive wall we will we will be having the positively charged electrons that is the freely electrons present on the other side just because of the electrons it will nullify the effect and this is the reason the electric charge won't be able to penetrate into the faraday cage so this is the reason inside the lift our cell phone signals gets uh, jammed and this is the reason the like uh, the transformers are covered with the this faraday cages so guys that, that was nothing but the basic principle behind the working of the faraday cage so now let's talk about the application of the faraday cage well guys this particular faraday cages got lot of applications from a simple automobile to the airplanes the compartments acts as a faraday cage protecting the passengers in a cage of, in the case of the electrical discharge or as in a case of the lightnings this particular faraday cages having the application in the analytical chemistry as well like to determine the composition of all the chemicals all the matter around us we need the precise information so this particular faraday cages reduces the noise while taking the sensitive measurements so this is the reason the faraday cages are more useful in the analytical chemistry also guys you must have heard about the booster bag this particular booster bag is nothing but a small aluminum foil so when we wrap your cell phone with the help of this aluminum foil uh, completely you won't able to communicate with that particular cell phone the you won't able to call on that particular number it will say not reachable just because of the aluminum foil so this particular aluminum foil over here it acts as a faraday cage all the signals gets jammed over here also in some applications the electronics engineers they test the sensitivity of that particular instrument with the help of this uh, faraday cages like in a critical situation that electronic must perform well so this is the reason the initial test has been carried out and on that particular instrument with the help of faraday cages also this faraday cages are having some applications in the conductive clothing some electrical linemen uses the faraday suit to prevent the electrical current flow through the body to prevent from any harm while working on the electrical lines also guys in hospitals the in the mri machine that is magnetic resonance imaging this particular machine like to carry out the sensitive information from your body the whole of the machine gets covered with this faraday cage the outer walls of that particular cabin these are made up of metallic so that there is no electrical disturbances there no uh, magnetic or as no radio waves present during the testing so you will be getting the precise data after the testing so this is where the this faraday cages are much more useful also the biggest example in your home the microwave ovens the outer walls of the microwave ovens are made up of the conductive materials so that the this particular microwave oven won't disturb any of the other appliances which is kept near by this microwave oven so this particular faraday cages having a variety of the applications from our household up to the industrial level so guys i hope you understood that our today's topic of the faraday cage if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video Oh, 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 oh,